Hi, I'm Tim Whitmire with First Integrity Mortgage, and joining me today is Jennifer Wade with Jen Wade Consulting. Thank you, Tim. I appreciate you having me. Absolutely. So I met Jennifer at a networking organization that we're both a part of, and I just I love her energy, and she's just so great to be around. So um, again, I'm just happy that you're here. Well, thank you so much. Tim is so kind. He always says the nicest things. I love being around him. He has a great deal of energy, and he is the kindest and sweetest person I have met in recent years. <laughs> well, well, thanks. So, uh, Jen Wade Consulting, what do you what do you do? I am an HR consultant that focuses on the workplace environment, i.e., what does your culture look like at work? What does your atmosphere feel like, and what type of behaviors are the norm within your organization? Okay, nice. So, and I would imagine there's a huge need for this. And you always talk about like employee retention and that sort of thing. And so that kind of leads right in you know, hand in hand with that, right? Yes. I believe earlier you and I were at our networking group and I mentioned that historically organizations had, had a separation. They had the management who was your skilled personnel. They were the professionals. They knew the direction that the organization wanted to go. They focused on the mission, the vision, the goals, and your worker bees were those less skilled, less trained, maybe not well educated, and they just simply did what they were told. Mm -hmm. But in today's environment, we have well educated, we have a well educated workforce. Our employees are probably more educated than we are, and the focus is not solely on the mission, vision, and goals. There's a bit of socialization involved with that now. You have to understand what does inclusion look like? What does your principles look like? Should you share those same principles with your coworkers? Should they share the same values that you have? When you hire an individual, you're not only interviewing them, they're interviewing you as a prospective employer. Absolutely. That makes so much more sense. So the workforce has evolved over time. It has. And therefore, employers need to involve, evolve, and that's where you come in. That is. And I like working with small businesses, small to mid-sized businesses, helping them navigate that minefield that we now call the workplace. How inclusive, how, how diverse is your organization? Diversity is a multi-level multi tactic now. It's generational, it's cultural, it's gender specific and gender non-specific. So diversity has a multitude of categories now that encompasses the workplace and lack of any of those that I just mentioned can produce a turnover rate for you. Yeah, that makes sense. That totally makes sense. Yes. So you said small to mid-sized businesses. Yes. What does that encompass? What is a small to mid-sized business? Well, in the USA, a small <laughs> size business is any organization with 500 employees or less. Okay. Therefore, a medium-sized business is 500 employees or more. I so, see. So it's a pretty large this, this, range. It's broad because, you know, if you look at your average restaurant, well, anyway, a restaurant that's deemed to be a small business, they can have 50 employees. They can have 500 employees. They may possibly be a chain if they have 500 employees. But then when you start looking at your centenes of the world, they could very easily have 400 employees at one location. Right. And with those guys, you want to look at what does their leadership looks like look like because your leaders are going to define your organization. Those people you put in place, you need to have them well trained so they can understand what is inclusion, what is providing a sense of belonging to the people that not only work with you but for you, and what does communication look like in the workplace. Absolutely, okay. So um, what is there a certain industry type that you find yourself working with? Not specifically because Culture is not industry specific. I can work with construction workers. I can work with restaurant owners. I can work with office workers. Right now, I'm targeting the restaurant industry, okay. you know, because COVID affected the restaurant industry. I, I want to say worse than any of us because, you know, they lost a lot of their employees. And then they had to rehire when we came back from COVID. So it's a matter of now let me train these people and bring them up to where we were pre-COVID. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. 
COVID there's a lot is there. Not going away. <laughs> right. And, and, and really, the workplace culture has significantly changed after COVID. A it lot has. of people are working from home. It has. And that's a whole other category remote workers. Remote workers. That's a whole new challenge. <laughs> it is. It's a whole new challenge because the same tools you use for your brick and mortar employees, mm -hmm. those same principles have to be applied to your remote workers. You have to make sure they're working in a safe environment. Make sure that that the stress, the detractors throughout the day doesn't exist for them. Moms are working from home with babies and, and, and school kids and spouses in the house with them every day, whereas before going to work every day, nine to five, was a way of getting away from the house and getting your job done, as well as allowing your kids to learn what they need to learn to become viable citizens. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So um, let me ask you this, is there a geographical area that you that you cover? Or, I mean, with remote, that could be anywhere in the United States or anywhere, I guess, in the world. Where do you find yourself, um, I guess, are you mostly helping businesses that are in the St. Louis area or do you go beyond that? For face-to-face -face contact, I go with the greater St. Louis area, okay. which covers the Missouri and portions of Illinois. But as you just mentioned, after we made it through COVID, we realized that for what I do, I can I can connect with a company in Texas Absolutely. just as easy as I connect connect with a company in downtown St. Louis. The only difference is that it'll all be via remote. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So I think that answers my question. I just <laughs> yes. wanted to um, understand like what area you can service, and it seems to me that you can service just about anywhere. Um, yeah. Nationally. Nationally, all right. Yeah. I like it. So, if someone would like to um, reach out to you or learn more about what you do or or need your services, what's the best way for them to reach you? Well, I'll give you a couple of ways. There's never one best way. I I can be found on LinkedIn okay. under Jennifer Wade or Jen Wade Consulting. I can be found on Instagram of all places under Jen Wade Consulting. Mike, can I get my telephone number? Absolutely. My telephone number is area code 314-384-2374. And also you can reach me via email at jennifer at jenwadeconsulting.com. Awesome. And this will all be up at the end of the video as well. So it'll be there. If you would like a warm introduction to, to Jennifer, I'm happy to do that for you as well. If you reach out to me, I can introduce her, yes. introduce you guys. So, thank you. Uh, But thank you so much. I appreciate coming. you. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you.